sit in here in my greenhouse today. The rain is pouring down, the wind is blowing. It's really crap weather. Ooh. I wonder what I can do in here today. Yes. I know what I can do. I got four plants in there, cucumber plants, and um, two of them. I think they're called uh, purplus cucumbers in English. Uh, they've been carrying loads of cucumbers uh, this summer, and uh, they really taste good and crispy and sweet. It would have been great to uh, collect the seeds. For summer next year, but sadly, I only get female uh, flowers on them, so uh, and I don't think they're gonna germinate. So I'm gonna try an experiment. I will take pollen from the red mong cucumber and put on the burpless female flower, and see if I can save the seeds then. I'm going to sow these seeds next spring and I'm looking forward to uh, see how this cross spread will turn out to taste, look like, or things like that. Maybe I can stabilize uh, this cross over the years to come and make my own heirloom plant. That would be great. Okay, let's take a trip into the cucumber corner and try this out. The male flower of the red mong I'm going to use for this experiment. I'll try to remove this male flower without damaging it. You can see it here. Inside there is a lot of pollen. And now I'm going to take this male flower over to the burpless female flower. I take the petals and pull them behind like this. And put it down in the female flower. As you can see, I already labeled this cucumber so I don't eat it like this now there's a lot of pollen down in the female flower so let's hope for the best I've done some other crosses as well and this one you can see here is a small black zebra 
and it's crossed with a Cherokee purple. I'll wait for this ripening and I'm going to take the seeds and sow for next year and see what comes out of them. This was only a little shorty but I'll try to be more creative in the next update. Bye bye! Hmm? Stop this farting, I thought. <laughs> <Ooh>. A cat. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs>